welcome back guys we got another project I drained down the pool and then we got a rainstorm a lot of leaves fell in it there's about three inches of water in there now pools not quite level it's a lot over on this side yet but uh as you can hear in the background I got the pump running to drain it out what I want to do put my boots on come down in here I want to get these leaves out. A little grasshopper here. To get him out. And then, uh, yeah, two and a half inches of water in here. But what a mess, right? No filter drops in here. But what I'm going to do is I got a plastic shovel. I'm just going to pull all the leaves over one side. We never got the cover on quick enough. A storm came. New York City got flooded. You probably saw that. Well, we got rain. This thing was just about empty. We were going to take it down. And I had uh, mowed the lawn, vacuumed the leaves, all ready to take the pool apart. And then the uh, storm came and made a mess out of it. So we put that on hold. I'm just going to throw the leaves over, I'll grab the mower, bag up the leaves, get them off the lawn and do it again once I get this water out of here so we can get this pool disassembled. Some people leave them up all winter long. Here this is running dry. I've got to move my pump over a little bit. You might get my water to go again. How much cord do I have here? You gotta be careful bringing a cord inside a pool, you know. It'll wake you up in a hurry, so I like to tie it off so it cannot get in the water. She's pumping again. There's about an inch and a half of water there. My mom used to have a 24 foot pool and it it bellied in the center and had its drain right in the center. And that pool always stayed pretty clean because when you get in the pool, we go around in a circle to get that little whirlwind going, you know. And the debris settles in the center and we vacuum it. But it didn't have to do that with hers because it automatically went right out the drain, you know. Not so lucky on a cheap, um, I think this is a Coleman or Best Way. They're all the same intact. They're probably all the same type of pool. But it's refreshing in the summertime. Look at all these leaves. Holy moly. So while that water's going, I'm going to clean this out. As long as you're using a plastic shovel, it's not going to harden the liner at all. So I got half an hour cleaning this up by then the water will be about drained I think probably got three million leaves in here but it's draining pretty fast right there all right I brought my shop back up here and when it gets down low enough, I just vacuum up the balance of water. But I also brought out my push broom. It's got a squeegee on the back. And I'm going to brush the bottom and sides so that it gets cleaned with the water that's in here. So that when we do pack the pool up and put it back in the box, big box that, uh, you know, I'm not putting it to get, a, you know, a way dirty or anything. Get it as clean as I can. This sun will dry it out nice today. Well, the video shut off because the camera got hot. It's uh, hot down in here. I'm sweating. What I did, as you saw in the time lapse, is I take a push broom and I scrub the bottom 
to clean it. Now, I realize it's not super clean right now, but I'm not going to get out any chlorine and wash this and then put it away with that on it. I just think that's bad for the material. So I'm going to leave this alone. When the pool gets filled in the spring, um, once you put your chemical in, this will clean right up real nice just on its own. So I take the vacuum and uh, this thing works great. See the dirty water and leaves. And I just set it over the side, you know. I try to get most of it with a submersible pump. I don't know if you could have seen that, but this one's a Wayne. And it'll get a leaf or two stuck in the bottom strainer and a garden hose and just drop it in, submersible. And get this pool right down close. You see the leaves falling in it already. Then... Once I scrub it the way I want it, then uh, I will take, you know, the vacuum, clean all that up. There's a little tiny pockets of water right now. They're going to evaporate here in an hour probably. So what I like to do next to take the pool down is go out in the yard, run the the mower with the vac on it, and, and suck up, you know, the bagger and suck up all them leaves so that when we take the pool apart, we can drag it out in the grass that's got no clippings in it and um, fold up our pool put it in the box we're going to take all these arms off the pins we're going to keep everything separate put them in boxes and uh, store it in a building where there's no mice or anything and um, this will be all set for next year I thought about leaving this up one winter I did with an old pool and it took a beating it got snow on it snow come off the roof there's ice in it it overflowed it froze it broke the uh, the housing, so all that stuff should have been taken off. Um, we're not going to do that again. We're going to take it down. It takes about an hour to assemble, about a half an hour to take down. It's worth it because the pools are going up in price like everything. And so that's the next step is when I get a helper here, we're going to take this apart. And then we're going to take the tractor and the forks. And we're going to lift this deck up, get the deck out of here, unhook these umbrellas. And we're going to get everything disassembled, get this all cleaned up.